I'm DXCLB from Rune News. Overnight on the RuneScape forums, Jagex posted important information regarding the upcoming release of Rune Labs. Each month we will provide you with a set of criteria outlining the sort of content we're looking for. For that month, we will only consider projects that fit within those criteria. Some examples might be a small sized combat project, a medium sized quest with a small graphics budget, a small to medium sized Halloween event or quest. To give you an idea of what we mean by the various update sizes, here are some previous updates for comparison. Extra small, drop table improvements, ability bar sharing, and circus improvements. Small, Harbingers of Tusker, Skill Chompers, the quest Let Them Eat Pie, and the Lodestones. Medium, the Calphite King, Soul Reaper, Gathixian Caches, and the quest A Shadow Over Ashdale. Large, Araxor, Sinkholes, the quest Broken Homes, and Player Own Ports Expansions. Extra Large, The Gold Wars Dungeon, The Rune Span, The Quest The World Wakes, and City Graphical Reworks. Extra Extra Large, The Evolution of Combat, The Elf City, The Divination Skill, Player Own Ports, and The Quest Ritual of the Majorate. This might feel restrictive, but managing the scope of our updates is an essential part of developing RuneScape. There are some constraints we put on our designers and developers. While we'd love to work on huge, epic updates all the time, we need a mix of content, of all types and sizes, to ensure a regular, varied release schedule. It's interesting to know early on that the ideas Jagex will be looking at changes from month to month. I believe Jagex would already be looking at future content for release about mid-June, and this is without Rune Labs. I like the examples that Mod Kelfi has posted here. It gives me a better understanding on Jagex's idea of update styles. If I'm understanding it right, Rune Labs itself would fall under the large category, seeing as it is an expansion of sorts. If your idea doesn't fit the criteria we're asking for, don't worry, there's every chance it'll be suitable in the future. Don't be put off if you're not sure whether your idea fits. Either it will be possible to add ideas to a wish list, so players can watch ideas that catch their eye and support them when they become relevant. Again, I like the idea of a wish list, in case your idea is not what Jagex is looking for at this time. You can put it away for a later time when it might be worth putting forward. Now there are rules to posting a suggestion to Rune Labs. Follow the rules of RuneScape as you would in game and on the forums. Do not include the work of others without their consent. Do not offer incentives for others to support your ideas in your submission. Jagex reserves the right to only pick ideas that we feel are right for the game and business. It can be a bit tricky with so many players, it could be easy to accidentally infringe on another person's idea. And most importantly, no bribing other people to support your ideas. We will not accept ideas that go against our business interests, make fundamental changes to the core gameplay, break the game world or lore of the game. This is another example of it being tricky. If you're not a law hound, you don't know if your idea inadvertently breaks the law of the game, so it might be a good idea to brush up. Go beyond additions or changes to game content. A larger than a single standalone update. And are already being worked upon. This is where I wish Jagex would put back up the update progress bar that used to be on the RuneScape main page slash forum years ago. So we would know what's currently being worked on. To help with this, we have created a blacklist of projects we will not accept. Removing EOC or Legacy Combat Modes. Removing Treasure Hunter or Solomon's General Store. Anything to do with Old School or any other Jagex products. And Narrative for World Events. Damn. 
I think that's my idea of removing Treasure Hunter. I wonder what would happen if a majority of people post something along the lines of remove Treasure Hunter. That would be an ugly scenario for Jagex. So now you should have a good idea of what to expect from Rune Labs when it goes live later this month. The initial criteria is pretty open. It can be about anything, but it must fit within a medium sized scope. Before I continue on, going back to the comparison list earlier, right now Jagex is after something along the lines of the Calphite King, the Soul Reaper, Gathixian Caches, and a Shadow of Rashdale. Many of you will be wanting to know when you will get your chance to decide the next extra extra large project. We only tend to work on one huge project at a time. You guys decided what the previous extra extra large project was with Elf City. And we have already decided what the next project is and are working on it now. RuneScape NXT. Sometime around the third quarter this year you will get the chance to determine the next big project and this time we will give you a lot more options than a binary poll. While we have a good idea of what some of these options will be, we will no doubt be taking more from Rune Labs over the coming months. As we wait for the launch of Rune Labs, we advise you to take this time to submit your ideas on the forums to gather feedback from others. Once you submit an idea on Rune Labs, you won't be able to edit it. So it's a good idea to have others read over your pitch beforehand. I do have one major concern about the upcoming release of Rune Labs, and that is, is there a limit to how many ideas we are allowed to post per month? Because if it's unlimited, there's going to be a lot of major clog of potentially good ideas that will never see the light of day. Anyway, I've got my suggestions for Rune Labs ready. And I hope everyone puts their thinking caps on and we'll see if one of our ideas gets the nod to go into RuneScape. Keen to hear your thoughts on RuneLabs? I'm DXCLB from Rune News. Happy scaping.